Hi, I'm Reg Valentino, the Advanced Development Manager, and today we will be discussing the mechanics of the ABDIC Continuous Feed Dampener. Assisting is Joe Saviano, the Laboratory Technician, for calibration and operation of the unit. So let's begin. Back in 1988, we began successfully field testing the continuous dampener. During that time, the current production unit reflects comments and operational improvements collected from the test sites and service techs. The operational features we implemented are designed to be in the segregated mode to provide the following advantages. Better ink laydown through the control of water, longer runs with minimum contamination and emulsification in a segregated mode through better control, better half-tones in solids, faster drying time, more stable output, minimum setoff. For the entry-level operator, the unit can also be run in the integrated mode. In summary, the ABDIC dampener provides ease of service and greater reliability than other continuous feed dampeners available. For the dampener calibration, we have removed the fountain pan for easier viewing. With the dampener lever in the on position, ensure that the nut is attached to screw F-O-A per the installation instructions and is not loose. With the dampener lever in the on position, turn screw F-O-A to just contact the form roller bracket, but still be movable for pre-adjustment procedures. This is to give separation between the form roller and oscillator roller only. With the dampener in the off position, move screw B-S to just contact the main bracket, then lock with screw B-S-L. With the dampener lever in the on position, adjust the form roller bead line to the plate to be 1 8 inch with screw F-C-A. Toggle between on and off to ensure the bead line is 1 8 inch. Then tighten screw F-C-L. In the off position, there should be a gap between the form roller and the plate cylinder. With the dampener lever in the on position, set the form to chrome roller oscillator by adjusting the screw F-O-A for a bead line of 3 16 to 1 quarter inch with 20 pound bond paper. Toggle the dampener lever between on and off to ensure the bead line is correct. Check for separation between the oscillator roller and form roller and the form roller to the plate cylinder in the off position which should be 30 thousandths of an inch for both gaps. Then lock with screw F-O-L with the dampener in the off position. Set the anti-bounce for the form roller with screw F-S. To check if properly set, make sure form roller bracket does not move by rotating hand wheel back and forth. Then tighten screw F-S-L. Check the dampener lever to be free moving. To set the oscillator to metering roller, adjust screw M-O-A for a bead line of 1 8 inch to 3 16 of an inch using 20 pound bond inked paper. Lock with screw M-O-L. With the dampener in the on position and to set the pan to metering roller, install 20 pound bond paper with ink between the pan and metering roller. Adjust screw P-M-A to obtain a 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch bead line. Move screw P-S if necessary. After obtaining the bead line, adjust screw P-S to contact the underside of screw head PMA. This bead line must be equal to or greater than 
the oscillator to metering roller bead line to ensure that no dripping will occur during operation. Lock screws with PM-L and PS-L. Now, Joe, let's turn our attention to the operation of the unit. We will operate the dampener in the segregated mode by removing the rider roller from the upper bridge. You should note that the aquamatic oscillator is in contact with the dampener form roller only. We also are using a polyurethane form and metering roller to control the water for Silvertech, Estat, and metal plates. Joe, will you begin? You will notice the sequence of operating the dampener. The lever from, goes from night latch to off, then to on, then the ink form rollers go on. Upon stopping, you just do the reverse. If you leave the dampener lever in the off position and start the press, you can destroy the metering roller as it has occurred in the field. Our fix is a two position switch and a new cam switch which prevents the unit from starting with all the dampener rollers in contact this is field retrofittable. For cleanup, reinstall the rider roller and go through your normal cleanup procedure with the dampener lever in the night latch position. Care should be taken not to contaminate the metering, oscillator, and pan rollers with blanket wash. Only use alcohol. It is advisable to use chrome cleaner in the, on the oscillator and pan rollers and then blue etch on a regular basis. Do not use gum on the oscillator. With the new cam switch, you cannot start the press with the dampener in the on or off position. This will prevent damaging the metering roller.